Hey everyone, Peary here, and today's uh, a video I wanted to make uh, from my friends who's been playing Elder Scrolls Online. For those who don't know this game exactly, and at the moment I'm in Daggerfall Trade District, and I'm getting about 80 FPS on average usually. Right now it's falling a bit down since I'm recording, but usually it's about 80 or 90. But yeah, I wanted to make this video since some of my friends were having performance issues. And the thing I always tell them is to check what resolution they're, they're on and if, to make sure you don't play on the high setting which you don't want to. Uh, ignore the blank texture quality, I'll explain that a bit later in the video. Subsampling quality, uh, what this basically is, um, if it's on high, it'll be basically whatever your resolution is. The lower this is, the more it cuts down the resolution. Of course, I would just put uh, shadows on low or off. Uh, off if your computer really can't handle the shadows. And of course, water reflection is off. And, and also I don't really uh, go near water that much, I'm usually traveling on land, so helps to have it off. And of course to put the minimum settings on maximum particle systems, what that is, it'll chill less uh, particle effects on like water, weather, fire, anything with particles, it will have less of uh, basically. And put the minimum distance or match the distance of your view distance so for now I put mine on 26 and my view distance is at 26 so yeah of course I would say put uh, your view distance down but the thing is, is like as you saw those buildings in the background are disappearing that's disappearing and now my FPS is like 100 now but I like seeing things in the distance so I have it on 26 and as you can see the buildings just came back a uh, big thing to change is ambient occlusion but as you see it makes everything a bit brighter I kinda like having a little bit darker shade to my game uh, turn on bloom it just increases glow around fire but you could leave this on if you're if you really needed. Uh, depth of field, basically like a blur effect in the distance. Distortion is like an explosion or fire. You see like the little wavy uh, effect. It gives sun rays, basically sun rays through leaves and stuff like that. Grass, that's simple. It's just grass. Crash up. No, there's no sun rays out here that could give it so yeah and the reason I'm in town I wanted to show you what my was what's it like with a lot of people around so yeah other than that uh, let's actually get into the file settings if those settings didn't even help you and your PC is still struggling uh, and or my OBS so what you want to do is go to your documents, go to your Elder Scrolls Online, and then go to Live. And here you go on the screen, you'll go on your user settings, and here you'll be prompted to like Notepad or whatever your default is. For me, I'll use Notepad++, makes everything more visible and clears some things out in sections. So first things first, uh, I would probably put shadow, high resolution shadows on zero, particle density, how densely packed the particles are, I put that on zero. Even on low, the shadows are still sharp, this is the reason why. Uh, view distance, uh, this is basically in game, you can just change. And GPU smoothing frames, I would either put this on 0 or 1. Uh, you'd probably have to test that, but 0 works really well for me. 
and here is the blank texture pack you saw uh negative three is basically basically like ultra high texture i really like the high texture so i have that otherwise you just change in game on uh, for the lowest one so for here rain wetness like how wet like the ground is on armors and stuff like that lens flares are in game like um the little circle things if you don't know about them anti-aliasing off or on uh depending if you really want to or not <clears throat> of course these are off like depth of field bloom which we turned off in game color correction uh, also helps if you turn this off basically um accurate colors oh yeah and also turn off so soft alpha since that's been uh that's like a lighting issue and it doesn't really it's not too noticeable but yeah distortion which we just turned off and character lighting another lighting effect i like having lighting on my character uh if i move like as you can see this light on this side so it will disable that but if you don't really want that you just turn this to zero and you want to ignore most of this and go to water foam basically foam on like a sandy beach or something like that i just turned that to zero and max and i saw trophy i can't really say that but it's basically anti-aliasing i put that on zero since just anti-aliasing is good enough for me and i don't need any more i think it is set on like two or four default and if you haven't already set your full screen height and width here and of course windows as well if if you need to but you've probably done that in the beginning of the video i also you want the game off but i have it on since so i'm not going to be really changing anything uh for this is a big thing for amd and ryzen user well ryzen yeah i should say ryzen since they they have like eight cores, six cores, uh, just put your max cores to six. That'll put that'll let the game use more. Or if you have more cores, put it higher, of course. And keep uh, ignore this one. I go for requested no worker threads. Put that on zero. It should be on negative one on default. And basically uses um, worker threads, which kind of impacts the game a bit i don't know why but i gained 10 fps by disabling it and that should be all and some of these are like a very specific like monster tells enable that's like the little notify the little like red signals they give off or yellow sparks or whatever and like the red aoe's you can always turn that off but that's impractical to be honest but yeah, uh, once you've done that, just load it into ESO and see how it, the game is. Further testing might be needed. But yeah, that's how I optimize my game. And oh, we're back to 95, 96 FPS. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, I uh, forgot. I just looked at my thing. So for here, I just literally got out of my mind um this is where you set up your custom um fx distance and uh custom fx global particles i have tested low as 250 anything below that um is kind of all for you really but yeah this is how you, i set my custom fx like maximum and distance because i believe those are those are like things that are like locked at a certain thing oh, yeah, i forgot distant foliage huh oh well <laughs> i know this video has been a bit all over the place but hopefully you appreciate uh the amount of research i went to and i'll also link in these two uh forum posts which really helped me a lot uh wasko neko and anu saku tukija and also, uh, this is not really for performance, but for FPS stuff. If you go to like the set min 
time and put in this code you get 120 fps and set min time uh this number as well you get 1.4 fps i tested both and they were fine i use 120 i don't really need that much fps but yeah i this was a really delayed conclusion but yeah hopefully this helps you in game and higher fps i'll see you guys in the next video